Good Thursday evening. I'm certified meteorologist Nick Kelly checking in on this June 22nd of 2017. We have kept things quiet again and warm again for your Thursday. Afternoon highs managed to rebound back into the upper 80s. And believe it or not, despite rain chances on the way, we'll still keep things warm as we go through the next several days and begin the final stretch of the month of June. To start this evening out, though, that's a nice looking view from downstream casino back into northeastern Oklahoma. That looks like plenty of sunny skies with some high clouds filtering through. A little more cloud cover from 7th and Range Line from the east side of Joplin. Again, those are hardly threatening skies, though. We are starting the evening out quiet all around the four state area. A low of 68, that was how we started the morning out at the Joplin Regional Airport and rebounded to a high of 89. Thankfully, nowhere near the records, 53 or 98, but we are running above our normal low of 67 and our normal high of 88. The Skywest Storm Trucker, again, even with the cloud cover, we have kept things dry around here. I do notice to start the evening out once again, we have some strong to severe thunderstorms out in southwestern Kansas and into the panhandles of Oklahoma and Texas. None of those, like the past few nights around here, they will not make it here, and those will not be a worry for us at all. What we're going to focus on as we go into tonight and into tomorrow morning will be the moisture from Tropical Depression Cindy working with our next cold front that will be working in. Let's start with a look at Cindy. The final advisory from the National Hurricane Center had Cindy centered just south of Shreveport, Louisiana with sustained winds only at 25 miles per hour. So not even an impressive tropical depression as it continues to work over land. By 1 a.m., it's going to be over southeastern Arkansas, and thankfully it'll keep the brunt of the heaviest rain and the strongest severe thunderstorms associated with Cindy away from us. So we'll be working over the Memphis Metro by 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, and it'll continue to weaken and fizzle away as we go into Saturday morning across the eastern parts of the U.S., close to Washington, D.C., the moisture from Cindy, though, we are definitely seeing that, thanks to the increase in the cloud cover. The moisture from Cindy, whatever moisture we have from Cindy, will be interacting with our next cold front working in from the northwest. Once we get that front out of here tomorrow afternoon, we're quiet for the weekend until we get this northwest flow into gesture to shift right over our area. When that does, that will bring maybe a few weak disturbances our way, giving us spotty thunderstorm chances Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. For now, though, I think our best shot in the immediate future for any scattered storms will be tomorrow morning. Then I think we'll have another better shot of rain and thunderstorms late next week and into next weekend, and we'll definitely be working back near 90 degrees by then. So plenty to watch as we work into the final stretch of the month of June and starting July next weekend. For the rest of this evening, though, before we hit the stroke of midnight, we just look good overall. Front stays northwest of us. That keeps our skies quiet. It's going to be a mild start in the morning with lows right around the 70 degree mark for most of you. But have a look. By 6 a.m., that cold front starts working in. That's when we'll try to spark some scattered thunderstorms and move that toward the south. So at least have the rain gear handy as you start your Friday morning out. And then by Friday afternoon, I think any time after 1 or 2 o'clock, any storms that are around should be out of here, if not in our far, far southern counties. I think overall, though, once we hit Friday afternoon, we should be in the clear for the rest of the weekend. So let's say 70 in the morning with some scattered storms working in as the front works through. A northwest wind by the noon hour means temperatures near 77 and only topping out near 81 degrees. So we will definitely see a bit of a cool down with this front passing through. Fast forward to Saturday morning. We may start in the upper 50s Saturday morning, but Saturday's looking great. I think mostly sunny overall. And have a look at that. Highs in the upper 70s. Pretty hard to come by for this late June, but we'll hold on to that for most of the weekend as we roll on the rest of the seven day forecast. I think most of us will be right around 80 for your Saturday, but upper 70s near 80. Certainly we'll take that for late June. 78 on Sunday with partly sunny skies. A spotty thunderstorm chances Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. But you notice how we tick the thermometer back up by the end of next week. We go from 78 Monday, 82 on Tuesday, 86 Wednesday. And even with a better shot of thunderstorms trying to work in by next Thursday, highs will be pretty close to 90 degrees once again as we head toward next weekend. Have a good night and have a great Friday.